Shalom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm Israel Christian Leadership at the Baptist Church. Welcome to Green Pastures, especially this segment that has, I've tagged Holy Land Prayers. We are in, I expose you to a site in the Holy Land, and uh, we use that same site to pray the events there, the occurrences there, to pray for our lives, to pray for our homes, to pray for our nation. And I'm praying that as you join me today through this broadcast you will indeed be blessed your life will be transformed and god's glory will manifest over you and your household in jesus name this will be the 48th site i'll be exposing you to to the holy land i mean to, to you two in the holy land i've been there for over 30 times and i am still counting and every time we go god ministers specially for specific purposes to our lives and if you are privileged to go at any time, you can call I mean, any of those numbers on the screen to book your time, to know how you can make it happen. And a lot of glory will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, I'm taking to a place called the Valley of Aijalon. The Valley of Aijalon. You'll find the story about this valley in... Joshua chapter 10, verses 12 to 14. Then speak Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said, in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Aijalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies is not this written in the book of Jashne. so the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day and there was no day like that before it or after it that the lord hearkened unto the voice of a man for the lord fought for israel hallelujah I see God fighting your battles. I see God winning your battles. I see God hearing your voice like never before in the name of Jesus. At the valley of Aijalon, the Bible says, Joshua, while he was fighting against his enemies, he said to the Lord, because he needed more time to finish the battle, he said, God, let the sun stand still. And let the moon stand still. All this he did at the valley of Aijalon. And the Bible says, God heard his voice. And what God had never allowed to happen in the past happened that day. When we get to this place, we say to the Lord, Lord, you are the voice of your servant Joshua. Hear my voice like never before. What has never happened in the course of history, Lord, enable it to happen to me for your glory. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and... Joshua had the opportunity to avenge upon their enemies. In that place, we also pray that every enemy tormenting us, whether known or unknown, tormenting our children, tormenting our business, tormenting our ministry, the Lord will avenge upon them. And we shall overrun them in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and there was no day like that before or after it that the Lord hearkened to the voice of man. I see God hearkening to your voice. This is the day the Lord will smile on you. He will be glorified in your family. He will be exalted in your home. His grace will sustain you. His power will make the difference in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, and the Lord fought for Israel. I don't know what battles you are faced with, but may the Lord fight for you. The God who fights for me, the Lord who fight for Israel, we fight your battles, and you will sing a song of victory. As we look at this valley today, I see God starting something unique, something that nobody had ever experienced in your lineage. God will commence it in your life, and you will testify. May God's grace be upon you. If you are privileged to go to the Holy Land, make sure you get to this place. Ask your tour guide. 
I want to be at the valley of Aijalon. And as you pray there, God will smile on you. I'm glad to have come your way with this message over these weeks. Stay lifted. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen.